Hey, thanks for tuning in. My name is Ryan and I am from Modular Racks. And today I wanna to have a quick conversation with you about rooftop tents, but more specifically about condensation in rooftop tents. Now this is something that is a concern with almost anything in the winter time and people with boats and RVs and tent trailers, they've been dealing with this for years and they kinda of know what to do. But it's not something everyone considers with rooftop tents. And more importantly, rooftop tents, a lot of them now, they're aluminum shells. So I wanna show you something. I've got this handy dandy little tool here. This is a temperature gauge. And it's a beautiful day, one of the nicest we've had. But let me check our temperature here. Let's say it's 10.8 degrees. Well, let's go over here into the sunshine. And I wanna show you this aluminum tent. It's been sitting here for only about half an hour. What do we got? 18 degrees. Inside the tent, we get up to almost 28 degrees. Hey, let's go to this plastic. Look at that, 39, 40 degrees on a 10 degree day here in January. Now, reason I am showing you this is because here's what happens on these aluminum shell tents. A condensation on all your aluminum surfaces just forms as a, just a thin sheet as it just absorbs out of the air with that really quick, warm warm temperature bang that quick drop that warm temperature on a piece of metal is actually how most dehumidifiers work in your home when that sun goes down the temperature drops down to three four degrees zero degrees celsius here in just a couple of hours that tent's going to follow suit almost immediately that right there that creates condensation and so we'll show you inside what that looks like So I have just opened this tent and the last time it opened, it was dry inside. That was just a number of days ago. We've had very little rain. And when I look underneath the mattress cover here, it is bone dry. It's even a little dusty and dirty because this is one of our demo rental units. Now, as you look around inside this tent, see how it's like dry in the center there or it's lighter gray and it's a bit darker gray kind of all around the outside and even down in here, that's because the top, the whole top of this tent is black and it's absorbing heat. And in behind this fabric, that is all aluminum. This is exactly the example of what happens. It's just, it's damp all along here. When this thing is closed in the winter time and you get those extreme temperature changes in a closed, almost airtight space, you create massive amounts of condensation because the temperature just swings so wildly day in and day out. So the only solution to this is on days like today when it's sunny out, you need to open up your tent. If you leave your tent closed for months over the winter time and it's on your vehicle and you're experiencing those temperature fluctuations, it's just gonna keep collecting and collecting. And you're gonna open your tent, it's either gonna be soaking inside or worst case scenario, if you leave it long enough, and all of a sudden spring comes and it actually gets warm enough out that then that water can start growing mold. And this is not just specifically to aluminum tents. This can happen in ABS tents. Uh, this can happen in fiberglass tents. Those two materials do not fluctuate as much with heat. Uh, we've actually had it happen even on soft shell tents where we've left them on vehicles, not closed them up or opened them up often enough and then in the springtime, we've got little mold spores all over the tent because it doesn't create as much condensation, but it does create some. And we know we've dried those tents out completely. So one more example of this, just in case you don't believe me with the condensation. I experience this on a regular basis with our shop power wagon here. This truck does not leak. I've had this for three years. It's been through thick and thin, through storms like you wouldn't believe. It's bone dry inside, but I don't drive this truck very often. It sits here. Now I've learned that if I do up all of the windows and I let it sit, especially in the off season, I will come in and it will be a rainforest on the inside of the windows in here, literally dripping down, soaking wet. Everywhere else on the truck is super dry, but that's because again, glass absorbs heat. It's super warm when I touch this, but then it also doesn't have any insulation factor. It cools super quickly. All it takes for this not to happen is these rain visors and I leave these windows open just a crack. 
that's just enough for air circulation. Let's go over to our condor tent over here. The ABS plastic creates a lot of heat, like we saw on the gear pod before, but it's not a sealed unit. If we come up and look, we've got all these gaps here. So that, that is similar to the power wagon over there. When I leave the window open a crack, I don't get the condensation because it is able to have air moving and those big temperature swings, when you get a bit of condensation is created, it's able to dissipate super easy because it's not a lot of water to be able to evaporate out. Now, when we have the hard shell tent, the, uh, the wedge style, it's got this gasket, this nice, thick, pliable gasket, which is super awesome. But all of that running all the way along the top there, when this thing comes down and it sits right against here and as that comes down and sandwiches and creates that perfect seal it's just got nowhere to go so condensation is formed it builds up everything gets damp so after all of this you might be thinking you might be wondering "Ooh, i don't want a wedge style tent i definitely don't want an aluminum tent i disagree with that i love this tent the reason I love this tent is every tent you have to do some sort of dehumidifying on. If you got a boat or an RV, you guys all know you have to take care of humidity over the winter time. So if you got a rooftop tent, you got to do this regardless. Now, with other tents, maybe not as often. However, those things are hard to open up. Some of them, like the soft shell tents, they can take some time. More importantly, you got to like fold something out to the side. You got to put a ladder down. That's not something you can do in a parking lot like this. This wedge style tent, super easy. I pop it open, I hop up on the tailgate there, don't even need to take a ladder out. I just pop that thing open, boom, I'm down in like 45 seconds, closing it up, it's the exact same thing. So it's so easy for me to open up this tent on a regular basis, whenever it's nice out, every couple of weeks, every three weeks I try to do, um, air the thing out, close it up. It is no sweat whatsoever. And the fact that I get a tent that is that quick to open and close, that low profile, I love it. So aluminum, aluminum transfers heat. More than anything, it doesn't store the heat, it just transfers it super quick. That creates really fast temperature swings. That creates way more moisture than any other material out there. Number two, airflow. If you have no airflow, you're gonna never get rid of any of that condensation buildup. So if you have a tent that's not airtight and it's not aluminum and it's not black, you're gonna find that you have way less condensation buildup when you open that tent. But if you have those three things, in whatever style tent you have, in whatever brand tent you have, you're gonna find the condensation. So if you have those three things in your tent, you gotta make sure you open these things up as often as you can to keep your investment ready for when you wanna use it and in good shape. Appreciate you tuning in. If you like this video, smash that like button. If this is your first time seeing one of our videos, subscribe because the next time we're reviewing a product or giving you some information, you'll get notified. If you got any comments about what we're talking about here, about this video, please make them below. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Again, my name is Ryan from Modular Racks. See you next time.